Hey, I was sitting here and I thought I would, uh, well, I answered one of the questions on, on the YouTube channel, just real quick. I mean, now this is more of a spur of the moment thing. Uh, so I, I'm not actually in a project with Photon, which I would assuming the question was directed with a Photon style. I don't know, maybe split screen, but anyways. If you have a player and they have uh, first person arms and you have a player <clears throat> and you want to be able to see one of them and not the other and have other people see the other thing and not the other, uh, it's actually quite easy. So actually it's probably easier to do that multiplayer than it is on split screen. Uh, I mean, not that it's that hard, but really all you need is, we're just going to say, we'll just build two layers, show an invisible, and if I go to my camera, we are going to not see the invisible, there, it's gone. We can't see it. So to mimic photons, I can I, I can mimic it to some degree. Um, so photon. I mean, whatever happens on one computer, the other computer technically can't see it unless you let them know. Um, <clears throat> Right? Like it's like, I mean, if you put another computer next to here, ran its own system, whatever they do, this computer doesn't know shit all about it. Uh, the only, the only way that the photon works in the ways of multiplayer is that you have special components, uh, or RPCs where you have say a transform. So on mine, if I move my player, it sends the message saying this is my location it goes up it goes down and says hey that this unit here this belongs to that guy and he says to move over here so then it moves um, <clears throat> and that, that's kind of a very very key thing to this because <clears throat> it becomes easy to mimic even without having photon in here like for example if this was my photon view what does a photon view have in it that I'm possibly going to need. It's going to have my ID. And that's pretty much about it. So, <clears throat> at the very start of a game, if I get my int, or if you're running Photon, you'd be getting your Photon ID from your Photon view. I'm going to get my ID and I get my We'll just call it ID in this one. And then <clears throat> we could uh, build string. Uh, we only really need the one string. And the element is going to be our ID. Call it data. And then you would broadcast this out. So I can mimic that part by send event. And literally just selecting broadcast. Uh, new global event. So we'll, we'll, we'll say uh, select visibility. So essentially it's running, it, it's the same concept of photon in, in this situation. You'd also want this to be uh, oh, what do you call those RPCs? Because you have a couple different styles and one oh, was the buffer. To buffer or to non-buffer? That is the question. You want to buffer because if, if, you, if you started this game and you did this logic, 
the, what the buffer does is okay you've sent this broadcast out and the other player's not here but they need to know this information for when they do get here and that's all the buffer is it just holds it so when the other player joins it says oh here's a list of all the rpcs that were fired off while you were gone so do 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 off you go in in order right <clears throat> so you would then have a way to collect it from all players like you don't want to just send it to yourself because that's sending to my computer to my computer this computer can't fucking see that right so you'd broadcast it out so it goes up goes down to everybody and then here you would uh, get event data string data Oh, I would, I have, you'd have to set event data on this to mimic it properly. Right now, in, in the photon, in the broadcast, it has a section there to attach the string. So that's that's all this action is doing. So those two actions will mimic the broadcast of the photon. So over here, you would collect that data. Okay. String convert to int. We're going to take the data and we're going to turn it into the incoming ID. And then we just compare. So in compare, if the ID, incoming ID to my ID is equal, um, show FPS. Uh, if it's beyond that, anything else, show show body put it on there so FPS if we go that way then we would want this guy uh, just drag him in do, do, do. layer set layer there we go we're going to set the layer of our object that has the skin mesh render so the arms we want to be show and we'd want the merchant my body to be invisible and we would do this exact same thing only flipped if it's this way so this guy would be invisible and this guy would be show. Right now, if my ID here is uh, oh, whatever, five, and I duplicate this guy, which duplicates the camera and everything, I mean, obviously you would have some things going on there for the camera. Um, but that just to help try to mimic this. Um, and then if our duplicate guy, his ID would be six. We wouldn't have the same IDs. Now, because we're not actually in Photon, I'm not gonna let this logic actually go off. We'll just get our ID, right? <clears throat> you probably also wouldn't do it in the first frame, but but there we'd have, I can see my first person arms, which is what you want. I mean, obviously I got the camera pushed way back so I don't have anything animated here, but you'd have, you, you could see your arms, but I can see their body, right? Now, <clears throat> because it's not photon, it's, it w wouldn't be reversed on their end. Um, just because it's not photon, right? In, in, in Photon, it would be re reversed doing it that way, though, because this logic, uh, the, the, like, this guy would also fire the logic, so he, things would all change. It would, it would just work. Trust me, it would work. Um, <clears throat> anywho, now, if it's not Photon, you know, what if... Um, Um, 
it is um, weird. I don't know. But anyways, and then so if he's 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and this guy would be well, he'd be zero over 0.25. Or maybe 0.25, whatever. I have something along those fucking lines. Right, so you'd, you'd have your two cameras. Now, the only difference... So, actually, I, I refilmed this one part because, well, it's late. Um, so I ended up making a few different layers. And it... I was thinking like, yeah, you probably need four layers, but no, you're able to get away with it for with two layers. Okay, so that it, you can see on the screen, right? That this camera sees their arms and the other player's body. This camera sees their arms and the other player's body, right? And there are the two cameras. And all it is is, is a little it's very close to the photon method, but it at the same time, it's also a little bit different, right? So, for example, on one player, we have, uh, of course, I just, like I said, I was playing with the layers. Um, here, I'll swap these back so that we're not using those other layers that you guys don't know anything about. In fact, I'm going to delete those. There, you don't even see them, they're gone. Right, so if this guy, this camera, has, we need to see the arms, but we don't want to see the invisible. So we want to see the arms, but we don't want to see the invisible. Okay, fair enough. But this guy literally has to be the opposite, right? Because we want to see this thing, so this needs to be the show, which means this guy needs to be the invisible. Well, that seems weird, doesn't it? But all we do is we just swap the camera around, right? We just say, okay, so instead of seeing the show on player two, we're going to see the invisible and not see the show. Right, so you have your, you have, you're still running two layers. <clears throat> so in the world of split screen, I mean, it's it's still it's pretty close, but uh, player like the second player, if this is player two, we'll give him two, and compared to player one, your layers and your masks are just kind of flipped. It's really about it. Uh, beyond that, everything's. I mean, here up here, I mean, everything looks all fuckered. But yeah, I mean, it looks normal here because it's the way the cameras go. So there you go.